hey guys, or um, should I say sisters? Today I have the new James Charles Morphe palette. This is the first time I'm touching it. I just took it out of like the brown ugly box and came out with this beautiful white box, you know. Um, but yeah, first impressions on this. I'm really excited. So please make sure you subscribe to my channel, like this video, and leave a comment down below if you have any requests. That's all I have to say. So without further ado, let's get on to the video. So first we have this like pretty white curtain kind of thing and then a note at the back. I'm not gonna read it because I'm illiterate. Then we take it out and ooh, this is sexy. Not gonna lie, like this is sexy. Ugh, I don't like when they do this. So he has like the plastic and then they have the names on top, but I'd honestly prefer I mean, I know it's not like a big deal, like it's the shade names, but I really prefer if they had the names like on the bottom because I don't want to keep taking this out and then put it back in every time I use it. But I guess I will. So this honestly looks like pretty big for a Morphe palette and I know they're normally like really big, but like this looks really big. Please don't make inappropriate jokes, thank you. So this is it compared to the Jaclyn Hill palette. So it is bigger than the normal size and I appreciate that. Morphe honestly kills it with their collabs, like the Bretman Rock Highlighting Palette, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe Palette. Like they're all really, really good. But yeah, if this is bad, I'm gonna be quite disappointed, but I don't think it will be, but you never know. Anyways, this is freaking huge. Um, I kind of wish I had a mirror because like, imagine how big the mirror would be, like huge. But it doesn't, that's fine. It's fine, it's fine. Okay, I forgot to do my eyebrows. I'm gonna be right back in a second okay i'm back it looks kind of weird doesn't it like from my distance it looks kind of weird but i don't care i didn't set my eyes because i want to use as much as a palette i can so let's just get started i'm gonna start off with the first shade canvas and i'm going to just set my eyes i mean there's not much you could say about a pale shade but it looks like it set my eyes pretty well like i don't i don't know so i'm gonna start off in a transition shade I'm gonna start off with these big pans. I will say I'm not like the biggest fan of the transition shades he chose. I wish there was like one in between these two. So I guess I can mix them, but like, okay, so I guess that's what we're gonna do. We're mixing Tune and Code James. I'm just gonna pop them into the crease as my transition shade. I guess we're kind of going to get started with the colors now, I guess. I'm still trying to figure out like how I want to do this. I'm first going to take the shade Pinkity Drinkity, this like light pink, and I'm going to blend it into the crease. That did not do much because obviously it's lighter than the transition shades I used, but I did want to kind of give it a tiny slight pink hue to it now we're going to go into the shade 518 i don't actually understand why he named this 518 i understand most of the colors but like this one i didn't get but you know what it's fine she's just gonna kind of be like the highest layer of transitioning right up there then i'm going to be taking this bright pink called skip I'm gonna pop this into the crease underneath the orange and I really wanna make this pop. Okay, that is insane, that looks so good. I'm then going to take the shade Playground. I've noticed from these shadows, they don't really get that much kickback, which is A1. What does A1 even mean? Because I say it all the time, but I don't even know what it means. She is just going to go in this outer corner. And we are also going to put this right in the inner corner. We are going to do a halo eye. Because why not? Okay, I'm then going to take the shade Cola, and I thought Coca-Cola was red. I mean, I might sound really stupid and it might actually be blue, but I thought Cola was red and Pepsi was blue. And I'm going to place that where I placed the blue. I'm 
I'm gonna take a little bit of escape and I'm just going to tuck that right in the crease. I think I like this, but like I'm not sure. But I think so, I think so. So now I'm going to take some Dusty Rose Cosmetics eye primer. I'm going to cut like kind of the center of my crease, I don't know. gonna blend the outer corners I'm applying it on both sides of the halo eye but not in the center then I'm going to take hello I'm gonna pop this in the center I'm gonna go back into this purple shade deepen up the inner and outer corner Taking this white gel eyeliner from NYX with this small pencil brush. Actually, it's not a pencil, it's an eyeliner brush. What am I saying? And I think I'm gonna try and draw some eyeliner. I only applied it in like the first part of my eyes. I'm trying to do something cool, guys. Can you can we just not hate on me? I'm gonna take the shade. B, I love yellow eyeshadow. Like, I love it. I don't know. I just, it's kind of like a fetish of mine. <laughs> I'm gonna apply this in the inner part of the eyeliner. Going back into Get, and I'm going to apply that on the rest of the eyeliner. I can't tell if this looks horrendous or like really good. I'm also going to take a little bit more of Skip. I'm just going to bring some of her back at the top. So oh, this is what I have so far. I don't know. How do you guys feel? Because I'm indecisive and there's something wrong with me. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go do my face makeup. I'll be back, you know. I'll be back. That's that's it. That's it. So most of my face makeup is done. I just have to do some highlighting. So I'm gonna take the shade face and not with this brush. This is the prettiest thing I've ever seen on my face. That looks so good. Oh, I, oh, I have no words. Oh my God, I'm gonna cry. This is so good. Time for the lower lash line and I'm trying to decide if I wanna use like green or if I wanna go with the color theme that I'm doing right now. I think I'm gonna go with the same color theme I have been. So, going back into Pinkity Drinkity. Now skip. My camera died, but I applied skip all over the lower lash line. Now I'm gonna take a little bit more of cola. Why does it feel so low? Like high. I'm just gonna tuck her like right in that lower lash line area. Then I'm going to take spooky, which is the black shade, and also tuck that really close in there. I'm then going to take flashback and apply her in my inner corner. Then I'm gonna take a little bit of ring light, also apply her on the inner corner. I'm gonna go apply some lashes and then I'll be back to put some lipstick on and finish off my review. Lashes are on, honey. We are looking, you know, I don't know. Like, I like this look, but like, and I tried to go out of my comfort zone, but like, I don't know if I look bad or if I look good. I'm gonna apply some NYX lingerie. Matte liquid lipstick. Um, <laughs> so this is the finished look, guys. Honestly, this palette is so yummy. Like, it's so good. I don't know how to explain it. Um, for $40, 39 shades, that's like a dollar and... 
I don't even know. It, oh, it's so good. Like, I don't know if this is my favorite look I've ever done, but that's probably my fault because I was trying to step out of my comfort zone, but you know, I didn't want to be like, whoa, like, <laughs> okay. Let me know what you think in the comments down below. Please make sure you subscribe to my channel before you leave. Like this video and leave a comment down below if you have any requests. That's all I have to say, so I hope you guys have a great, wonderful day or night wherever you are. And yeah, bye!